What were some of the th strategies and things that this theater had to deal with for the lack of funding and for the lack of venue and for the lack of operating funding? What were some of the things? Um, there was there was a production that we were doing called Heroes, Our Heroes, mm -hmm. which um, for some reason or other, um, <laughs> it was sabotaged, literally. Mm -hmm. um, the day that we were supposed to open, mm -hmm. um, the writers and the, Ed Smith was directing that, mm -hmm. but the writers of the play were two people Mm -hmm. And um, they wanted their money. They wanted all their money before the show was open, or else it was not going to be opened. And we had given, we had given um, part part of the payment, but for some reason or other, um, he uh, he demanded that we 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 give it to him or he, the play must, cannot go on. And we didn't have any money. Mm. So Because usually what happens as a playwright, you get paid yes. a percentage of the box office. Percentage. So you get a, you get a little, right. you get an advance, and then you get a percentage of the box office. He would not you know. wait. And mm. the day of the opening, mm -hmm. he came up, up the stairs. We were in, in, in the office on 109 Vaughan Road. And he says, the play is not going on. And we couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. And it was just Robin and myself there. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, this play is not. But he was just satisfied with, with, I think, a minor situation on the poster. His name was not given credit on, on the poster for, for something. And I, I think it was something to that affair, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and he was very, you know, um, Or there's something else happening, that. too, within him. There's, I don't think. You know, yes. So um, he said, I want my money now. I don't want any excuse. And, and I don't want to hear any, anything, uh, you know, any excuse. I will not have it. And he just would not have any, any excuse. We, we didn't have any money, you know. Mm. And he was very ruthless, and, and we had to quickly sent out notice that the play is not going to be done. We had already rented um, the school. It was being done at Oakwood Collegiate. Mm -hmm. People like Ann Cools had already left Ottawa and come down to see, it. To see the play. Yeah. And, and many, many people, and we had just sent out <laughs> a circular quickly that, that you know, uh, is I, this person still a playwright? Or a, a, I think so. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. He, he was living in Montreal, Fred mm. Ward. Okay. And, and um, it was a shocking thing. It was it really, people came as if somebody had died. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they yeah. came and said, we can't, uh, we can't tell you how sorry we are. Mm -hmm. We don't know why this would happen. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the, one of the Sad moments. That was sad. it's like being punched in the gut, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, but we overcame that. We yeah. Overcame that, yeah. you know. There, there must be times when you just want to strangle people, or just you know, <laughs> fear. I mean, you, you yeah. can't say that, but I can. Yeah. I just think it's you, you know, know, you you wonder so why, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes you can't really um, know why people do what they do. Mm -hmm. And you can't really, you have to just take yourself away from it because they may have all sorts of reasons which you don't know about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and um, mm -hmm. it's one of these things. But we overcame, mm -hmm. we overcame. And, and he, he, I guess he was looking for more credit or something, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what were some of the uh, productions you did in the 80s? In the 80s, mm -hmm. in the 80s. Changes. Mm -hmm. Changes was a good production. Mm -hmm. uh, schools Out, um, Raising in the Sun was mm -hmm. done in the 80s as well. Uh, what else we did? Is that, what that was the, the Raven huh? era. I mean, your, your theater company was started in 73, in 74 wow, 73. was the first production. Wow, 73. Yeah. So that was at a time when, you know, the, the 
movements of you know uh, cultural liberation were happening in the states, and they were also coming up to Canada, and there was a lot of uh, social activism, right? Yes. But then later on, and I think it, uh, like that social activism changed into yes. something else, and so yeah, you know. it, it, it it's funny how things waves and moves mm. and, and, and things come and things go and people's feeling, you know, right now, for instance, there, there is this wave of occupation yeah, <laughs> I know, all yeah. over the world and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. And, and yeah. sometimes you, you are, uh, a lot of the people who are out there don't really know why they're there, but they know they have to be there. And, and I think when we started the theater, that same kind of atmosphere was, we, we've got to do something. Uh, 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 you know, like there was this flow of the civil rights movement had, mm -hmm. had come into, had emerged I into Canada as well. And, and we were just kind of in that sort of place of, um, yes, what shall we do? What shall we do? You know, mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing. And um, there was a lot of, organizations sprung up, you know, like mm -hmm. the Black Congress of Women. Mm -hmm. uh, chapters of it was, was spreading all over. There was mm -hmm. one Toronto, the Black History Society, mm -hmm. um, the Black Education Project, mm -hmm. you know, which, which was a great, great project mm -hmm. that, that helped young people again who were dropping out of schools mm -hmm. because of, again, that insensitivity to, 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 you know, there were no black teachers at mm -hmm. that point. And, and, and uh, these children were coming up and, and their education were very British oriented and, and they, they, there was a difference in the Canadian education and therefore um, uh, they, they were not, the teachers were not understanding them, they were not understanding the teachers. Yeah. And, and you had this, this very awful sort of like disappointment mm -hmm. and children were dropping out of school and, and not being listened to in school and stuff like that. So students from UFT, from York, various places, just decided we got to do something about it. Yeah. And they started a black education project. And I think it was the most wonderful thing that happened mm -hmm. because they, they used to teach these children for nothing. Right. And um, they, they would help them get oriented to the Canadian way of, of education kind right. of thing, you know. Right. And, and in no time, some of these children became right. <laughs> extreme students, mm -hmm. UFT special school students right. and sort of thing. Right. And um, those, those were some of the things that, that happened in, in that 70 mm -hmm. time, you know. And Black Theatre Canada arose within that same momentum mm -hmm. and, and um, began to sort of say, okay, um, we, we need a venue, we need a place, a platform where young people can develop their talent and, and, and you know, um, express it mm -hmm. as well and not be afraid and not be, be sort of kept back from doing that. Mm -hmm. Because in the Caribbean, theater was a part-time thing which you don't do as a career, yeah. <laughs> you see. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, you, you don't think of it as a career. What are you going to be? An actor? Mm. Are you crazy? <laughs> you know? Mm. No. Um, and coming up here, but you have the talent, you know, they're confused, mm -hmm. you see. So somebody had to encourage them. So that was part of BDC's mm -hmm. sort of um, objective, to oh. say, you know, listen, Yes, go to York. People like Audrey Mandiel and Zina yeah. came to me and she says, should I, should I go to, to York? I said, yeah, you go to York mm -hmm. and do, do your work, you know, do mm -hmm. the theater and stuff like that. And you had and to encourage them because they didn't mm -hmm. think that they should do that. Now she's winning awards and yes. you know, doing wonderful, yes. wonderful work in theater. Yes. What do you think of the theater scene now, the, the black theater scene now and what's happening? <coughs> I think it, 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 has, it has come to a place where um, I, I am proud of Phil Aiken yes. and, and the people yeah. who really uh, stand behind Obsidian mm -hmm. because it, it's, it's the only one, it seems, that um, carried through with a kind of... Um, the promise. Yes, yeah. the, the promise. Because mm -hmm. after BDC closed in 88, mm -hmm. um, there was nothing. I know. Absolutely nothing. I said, yeah. Lord, 
Yeah. I'd love to go to one of the productions I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was nothing. Yeah. And then uh, a sort of, um, uh, s sort of individual performers, mm -hmm. you know, began to, to just write their own poetry. Mm -hmm. You had Chancier, the dub poetry yeah, starting. Yeah and Devon Horton yeah. and, and Audrey yeah. and, and there were these singular performers just trying to do little performances here and mm -hmm. there, you know, but that, that kind of thing that we started, mm -hmm. that, that theater fair, that cultural awareness mm -hmm. was, had, had run a course, you know, mm -hmm. I guess 20 years, two decades, uh, and, um, and the children we had taught had grown up, yeah. so, so the whole needs were different. The mm -hmm. whole needs became very different. Mm -hmm. And what was emerging is, is a sort of a self, a me thing. Yeah. Um, I want to do this by myself. Yeah. I will do this. And so we well, had And I'll season. tell you, it's because it's really hard. You, you, you know as a pioneer how hard it is to gather a community, to gather to make a family. And to, and to put together an organization that will yeah. that will that will affect the culture of the of the nation. Yes. You know? So I can I can see why people are like, oh hell no. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, know. Gosh, I, know. Just, I know. I know what you're Yes. Oh my gosh, that's got to be so hard. Yes. But it's so important. I mean, your work was an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. It's partially what you know got me to Toronto, and 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 also the people that you trained and that you inspired have been mm -hmm. inspirations to me and to many others mm -hmm. and I and and I am thankful for you in so many ways that I can never possibly repay you know and welcome so thank you so much welcome yeah, <laughs> right, yeah I'm glad I did it I'm glad I did it yeah. it was it was so essential and it's funny you know it's like it's it's one of those things where when you're in it, probably, it's probably hell, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the, the legacy that you've created and the, and the, and the people's lives that you've changed mm -hmm. will last forever. Oh, yes. People come to me today and, and say, you know, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was at, at my church one day, and uh, of course, I, I, last year I did this film called um, uh, Jumping the Broom. Right. And... Um, they didn't know that I was an actor. <laughs> yeah. So I came to church when it opened in Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, and people say, that's her, that's her, yeah. that's her. <laughs> wow. Because they were so shocked. Yeah. And people came running up to me and saying, we didn't know, we don't know you. Your history. <laughs> I went on the computer and I saw you. <laughs> Uh, it's like fair. a whole other life, yeah. you know, oh, because uh, after the theater, I, I just, um, when it closed, actually I went and spent two years in Ontario Theological Seminary. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. so um, uh, I was sort of, out, you know, in another mm -hmm. world altogether. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I decided to sort of, okay, get back my acting skills together mm -hmm. and, yeah. and get an agent and, and, and go for it. Good. So um, that's where I'm still no, good. at. Great. At 83. Thank you so much. For You're very welcome. Thank you so much.